The Ravens only have one more left. YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ain't Raven here with another video. I uh, hope y'all are doing just really, really good. I hope everything's nice and peachy for you, nice and happy. Everybody's in a good mood. I am. Real quick, shout out to Sip to Tally. This is one of his shirts from his merch. Appreciate you, coach. As always, keep doing your thing. Um, the Ravens, uh, they have had, y'all know they had a real busy offseason. Y'all know, and it has still been busy, even though it's been busy for unwarranted reasons. But anyway, and we'll talk about that later, because I've been seeing even more. We addressed some of the narratives that have been floating around recently, but I've been seeing even more creep back up. And we're going to talk about those later, but we're we taking a little Lamar break for now. Uh, but anyway, um, the Ravens offseason was busy, but their draft was just as busy as offseason was, um, because they went crazy with it, with drafting 11 players. Uh, and y'all remember, again, I was, I, I was saying when they went into the draft with 10 picks, I'm like, there is, there's, there's no way. It's not happening that they drafted 10 people and they went and drafted 11. They went and drafted 11. Um, but now they signed 10 of them. So I, I guess since they didn't go into the draft with 11 picks, they were like, they were, they were thinking financially. They were thinking 10 people financially. But now they threw in a little monkey wrench with that extra pick. So they got one more guy left to sign. And, and that guy is second round pick, David Ajabo. And of course, you know, he's dealing with the Achilles injury right now. Um, will that have any impact on his contract? I don't think so. Uh, because again, the contracts are based off of where guys get picked. They're not based off of this or that. They're not based off of performance. They're not based off of what the Ravens or whatever any team that drafted them expects them to know. It's based off of where they're selected in the draft. Um, so David Ajabo is the last Baltimore Ravens rookie left to sign. Um, I would expect it to happen before training camp. I mean, he's not going to really be partaking much in training camp anyway. But uh, so if he doesn't get his deal before training camp, it won't really be a big deal. Because it ain't like he's going to be doing so much physical activity anyway. You get what I'm saying? Um, but they did sign Daniel Falele. And I would love to see him in person. I, I can't wait to, to, to see him in person just to see how big of a monster this guy is. Um, so that, that, that makes me look forward to the training camp and, 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 and the Ravens, uh, the little open practice that much more. Just to see how massive this monster of a man is uh so we'll see how that goes um but they also signed Jalen Amore Davis uh to his, the cornerback to his rookie contract as well so again only one guy left it's the last man standing that being David Ajabo now something that this reminds me of because we were just talking about how um the with the draft picks how the contracts are set up um, and how the, the, the money for the contracts is, it's already set. If you like the, the, the first round pick, you're the number one overall pick, then you get X amount of dollars. You're the first round pick, you're the 16th pick, you get X amount of dollars. Uh, and then so on and so forth for every single pick in the draft. Um, but again, it wasn't always like that. It was not always like that. And somebody um, who, a couple of people had a big, a huge impact on that. Um, I think Sam Bradford. I think he was one of the ones that had a huge impact on that. Um, and also somebody who was on The Pivot a couple of days ago, uh, that being Jamarcus Russell. And I listened to that episode and I absolutely loved it. I loved it. Um, with Jamarcus Russell, he, I, I, I just always appreciate how the media, you can have an image of somebody in your head. Um, especially if you don't have a background story on them, you don't know anything about them except from what you may have seen on football, a couple of highlights, or what you hear on ESPN or something like that. And that's how a lot of stuff with Lamar gets twisted, but we here to sort of untwist a lot of that stuff. But with Jamarcus Russell, I didn't really know much about him. I just knew that his, his NFL career didn't work out. I knew he was the number one pick. He was a pick by the, the Raiders, and it just, it was ugly. Um... And I knew it was an ugly falling out. And again, his career, I didn't realize his career was only three years. He played for three years. And that was it. Three years. But him, he, he had a big impact on that whole rookie wage scale. 
um, because of that situation. Uh, and it changed everything uh, for the NFL. And I, and I do think that it was actually a good thing. That's a good thing because they were giving out like, and I would, man, get your money. NFL will figure it out. The rookies, players, get, get your bread. NFL will be just fine regardless. But it, 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 they were giving out like crazy amounts of money. Like, like guys are getting this, the kind of money that rookies were getting in their first contract. Guys are now getting those, that kind of money in their second contracts. Like they were getting crazy money, man, before they even stepped foot on the field. Before they, before they even did anything on an NFL field. And while now they, they still getting a, a significant amount of money um, with the rookie contracts now, but it's like a fraction of what it used to be uh, in years past. Um, but it just makes the, the process easier. It, it makes, and it, make, it gives teams an easier out too. Like, especially for first round draft picks. First round draft picks, you, every, every pick you get signed to a four year deal. Whether well, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Uh, but for a first round draft pick, you get signed to a four year deal with a fifth year option. So, and as y'all know, like y'all have seen it plenty of times before, with first round draft picks, you either with it or you're not. And teams, they can decide quicker, faster than ever uh, if they are going to keep you, if you're going to stay with the team, if, if they really believe in you, if they really believe that you ended up being worth that first round pick and you're going to end up getting a second contract. Or they can be like, you know what? Nah, ain't working out. Bye. You're out of here. We'll ship you off. Trade you. Cut you. Whatever. Usually trade, but some people get cut too. It's all part of the process. But if, if they still had the, the previous rookie wage scale, well, it really wasn't even a scale. But if they had the, the, the previous rookie uh, salary the way that it was before, um, then it would make it so much harder for these teams to, to move on from the players. And if they pick somebody who it, they just that person just wasn't getting it, it just it wasn't clicking, wasn't working out, they were stuck, cause you would you'd have paid them so much money, so much money. But it's not like that uh, anymore. So yeah, man. But yeah, that's just a little side note. But anyway, um, Ravens they they get there. Just one guy left, and there's like really no pressure on whenever uh, a Jabos deal gets done because like I said it's not like he's going to be partaking in any crazy amount of physical work right now anyway um so I his first real training camp is, is going to be next year um because yeah he's still dealing with what he's dealing with now so anyway I love y'all team keep it clean I appreciate y'all team keep it clean and again special shout out to my guy coach or what really all got coach because all of y'all y'all know coach too shout out to him appreciate you